Okay, so for today's video, we're going to talk about the circumference in the area of a circle. Um, so our circumference formula, circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. Our area is equal to pi times the radius squared. Now the relationship between the diameter and the radius is the radius is half of the diameter. So as we look at circle number one over here, or letter A, it has a diameter that is marked and has nine units long. So our diameter is nine, therefore our radius is 4.5, which is half of nine. All right, and we're going to use a second circle over here, and we'll talk about that in a few moments. All right, so let's find the circumference in the area of this particular circle with that particular dimension. So the circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. So we're going to use 3.14 as pi, that is our decimal equivalent, times the diameter, which is 9. Okay, so 3.14 times 9 is going to give me a grand total of 28.26 units long. Okay, The distance around the circle is 28.26 units long if the circle is 9 units from one side to the other through the center. That becomes our definition. All right. Our other part of this that we want to talk about is our area. All right, and the area equals pi times the radius squared. So again, we're plugging in our numbers for our arithmetic, 3.14 for pi times our radius, which is 4.5 squared. Put our little parentheses around it just to make sure we understand what's going on there. So we'll do our, following our order of operations, I would do my exponent first, so 4.5 squared is going to give me a grand total of 20.25 times 3.14 there. And then we're going to work into that grand total, and I'm going to go down here. So 20.25 times 3.14, which is going to give me a total of 63.585 units squared, okay, because we're dealing with area, and it's square units, okay, that takes up the area that it takes, the amount of space that it takes, the whole shape takes up, all right, so now let's look over here at this particular circle, letter B, uh, has a diameter of 18 units, so the radius is 9, again, half of the diameter, if the diameter is 18, the radius is 9, now, you'll notice that this circle is twice as big as that circle, Okay, so most people would assume the fact that it that the circumference and the area would both also be doubled. So let's check and see how that works out. So circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. So 3.14, 3.14, our decimal equivalent for pi, times my diameter, which is 18 is going to give me a grand total of 56.52 units. Okay. Now, looking over here, 28.26, 56.52. Yeah, that is double. Okay. So that works out great. Uh, let's double check and make sure the area works, that set, works out that same way as well. All right. So now in our area, we have the radius squared times pi. So my 3.14, my decimal equivalent for pi, times my radius, which is 9 squared, all right, which then gives me 81, which is 9 squared. 9 times 9 is 81. 81 times my 3.14. So as I plug that into my handy-dandy calculator, that gives me a grand total of 1,017.36 units squared. That's a big difference as compared to that one. So we doubled the diameter going from this circle to this circle. The circumference doubled going from that circle to that circle. But the area, this one times this one, wow, that is a huge jump. 
for that. So it's not going to, it works for the circumference, but does not work for doubling when you just double the area. All right. Thank you.